Carmel, I want to bring you in here and get your thoughts on what jumped out at you in the Morgan Stanley report across all of those beats. So, you know, what impresses me over and over is their, their managing of the cost line. You know, we're in a period where we're, all the banks are investing heavily in new technologies to continue to grow their businesses. That was a big feature in the Goldman Sachs commentary, a big feature in the, uh, the JP Morgan commentary. And, and they've managed to actually keep costs under control, both on the fixed side as well as on, on the comp side. So um, that jumped out at me. But obviously, volatility begets good trading income and that's a big part of this the other thing that jumped out at me was I, you continue to hear that the pipelines are good for m a as well as for investment banking which means this is not a one quarter wonder this is going to continue so let's continue talking about that carmel because hey, i'm glad you brought that up about investment banking uh, and m a obviously that was a, has been a machine for a long time for goldman as well as morgan stanley Compare and contrast those two for me, uh, given what we heard yesterday and what we've heard so far uh, from Morgan Stanley. Well, they have, they have different business lines, um, clearly. Um, and you could expect, I would expect Morgan Stanley to, to potentially be stronger in some of the equity areas, stronger in the smaller uh, placements, um, and, and Goldman Sachs to be more global. Um, so while they didn't give a lot of commentary where their pipelines are forming, um, I would expect some things to fall out along those two lines. Same feature, you know, strong, uh, you know, economy leading to more M&A, but probably coming from different parts of the economy. 